determination of total cholesterol from blood samples. Now we are going to perform the chemical method based on the colored reaction called lieberman burkhardt reaction. At the beginning of the experiment, the first step is to extract cholesterol from the blood plasma. In order to do this, we're going to take the uh, volumetric flask and we're going to pipe it one milliliter of blood plasma sample. So we're going to add one milliliter of blood plasma sample to the volumetric flask. And then we're going to add approximately 25 milliliters of ether ethanol mixture. Which serves to do two things. First, alcohol is going to precipitate the blood plasma proteins which are found in complex with the cholesterol and secondly, the ether is going to extract as a non-polar solvent the cholesterol which we are going to detect. So it is important to add ether ethanol mixture in smaller portions with constant mixing or shaking the volumetric flask in order to accomplish the successful extraction of cholesterol from the blood plasma. Notice the precipitation of blood plasma proteins. Another 10 milliliter. The same procedure, constantly shaking the volumetric flask. And actually performing the extraction procedure. and five more. Shake the volumetric flask for a couple of moments. and then place it above the boiling water and wait for the solution to boil and let it boil for one minute. After one minute of boiling, cool it off to room temperature. Notice that the volumetric flask should be constantly gently shaken while heating. When the mixture is cooled down to the room temperature, we have to filtrate it to the another volumetric flask by using a funnel and filter paper. Filtration procedure is completed, we have to fill the volumetric flask to the graduation point with ether alcohol mixture.
when we had adjusted the level of the liquid at the graduation mark, mix the volumetric flask a few times upside down in order to homogenate the mixture. Now, we have to prepare the chloroform solution of our cholesterol, so first we have to remove ether and ethanol from the mixture. In order to do that, we're going to take evaporating dish and we're going to pipette the aliquot of 10 milliliters of ether ethanol solution of cholesterol. Place the evaporating dish to the boiling water bath and leave until the complete volume of ether and ethanol mixture is evaporated. When the solvents are evaporated, we should wipe thoroughly the outer sides of the dish in order to avoid the excess amount of water to get into our reactive system. Now we have to prepare two graduated cylinders. One cylinder we are going to mark with T as test and another one is going to be marked with S as standard. The next step in procedure is to prepare the chloroform solution of the extracted cholesterol which is concentrated here in evaporating dish. In order to do this, we're going to pipette 3 milliliters of chloroform into the dish by rinsing the walls of the dish at the same time. We're going to put back the dish to the boiling water bath for just a few moments. And when the solution starts boiling, remove the dish, wipe again to remove water and add the rest of the solution to the graduated cylinder test. Repeat the procedure two more times. After the transfer of cholesterol from evaporating dish to graduated cylinder, we have to fill the cylinder to the graduation mark of 8. Take another cylinder, mark as standard, and we have to add the standard cholesterol solution up to the graduation mark of 5. And then we have to add chloroform again till the graduation mark 8.
After we prepare the chloroform solution of a cholesterol, now we have to perform the lieberman burkhardt colored reaction. For that purpose, we need to pipette 2 milliliters of acid anhydride to each of those graduated cylinders. The next reagent to be added is just a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Close the cylinders and mix them very gently. In order for the green color to develop, we need to place graduated cylinder in darkness for at least 15 minutes to half an hour. After 15 minutes to half an hour, we get the developed green color as a product of this reaction. Now we can read the absorbances by using the red filter. This simple photometer is used whenever we are dealing with aggressive solutions or aggressive substances such as strong acids because we need to avoid the usage of plastic kivets and this photometer uses glass kivets. The principle is the same. Photometer possesses a lamp which emits a certain uh, intensity of light but we are unable to determine the specific wavelength that we want to deal with. We just need to pick up the proper filter which is chosen here. Since we, need, since we are dealing with the green colored solution, we're going to use and pick up the red filter. Uh, we have to turn on the photometer and instead of digital scale, this photometer has an analog scale with a needle and the scale which is to be read is the upper scale reading the absorbances. Of course, the procedure is the same as with any other photometer. First, we need to apply the blank solution to the glass kivette and to place the kivette to the photometer. And then by using those two wheels to adjust the instrument to zero. Left wheel is used for rough adjustment of the zero of instrument and the right wheel is for the fine adjustments. When we did that, we're going to pour our test solution to another kivet switch places with the blank solution and read the absorbance. We're going to put back the blank solution just in case the zero point is changed. If it's changed, we have to adjust it again. Now we have to pour the standard solution to the kivette put it 
to photometer and read the absorbance at the upper scale. Now we can calculate the results.